Today we're going to be testing the MX-5 door bush. We're going to be comparing a stock door bush with a Delrin door bush. Here I've set up the vise with a dial indicator and a half inch socket so we can attach a torque wrench. We're going to measure the crush of the two bushes across the sides of the bush. First let's set a torque wrench to 50 newton meters for the test. And pop that Delrin door bush into the vise. Now we'll set the dial indicator to zero. Now let's pop the stock door bush in. Reset that dial indicator to zero. Again with the torque wrench. And it's bending before it stops. What have we learned so far? The Delrin door bush with 50 Newton meters crushed 18th thou. The stock door bush was practically unlimited. In fact, the metal backing plate in the bush started to bend. That's a two and a half millimeter steel plate. This wouldn't happen when it's secured in the car with two bolts. Perhaps in a future test, we'll bolt it down. In fact, let's do that now. So we've completely covered the metal backing plate and we've left just the rubber exposed. So with 50 Newton meters, let's see what kind of crush we get. We'll insert it back into the vise, set that dial indicator to zero. To compete with the Delrin bush, we're looking for 18 thou. That's it there. Now with more pressure, we're just continuing. Again, it's unlimited. We haven't begun to feel any pressure against the bush yet. Let's get him out and take a look. So even with the stock bush secured, we still saw some flexing in that packing plate and a lot more crush than we saw on the Delrin bush. I think in this instance, the clear winner is the Delrin Bush.